Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. So we are back with the Elasticsearch tutorial for beginners. So in this tutorial we are going to talk about Elasticsearch and Kibana and how to set up that using Docker Compose. So in previous tutorials we have uh, now seen a step by step process of Elasticsearch, Kibana running on Docker and everything. So it's a continuation so now this time uh, in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to write the docker compose file and simply running the docker compose file we will have elasticsearch and kibana docker containers running so we'll have a container for elasticsearch and we'll have a container for kibana and we'll be doing that using a docker compose so that would be the our overall setup for this tutorial it's a pretty simple tutorial so you can uh, easily follow the YAML file, which I'll be showing it in the GitLab, so or GitHub location, so you can download the files from there and you can run it. So before I get started to the actual uh, demo, I would request you, like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also like my videos, share and comment. So let's get started. So I have a Docker machine. So if you don't know how to set up Docker, please check my tutorials on that. How to set up Docker on CentOS or Ubuntu, or you know you can even set up on Windows. So I will link uh, those videos in this video description, so you can have a look there. And also I will link the link for my GitHub location where I'll be saving this YAML file, Docker Compose file, where which you can refer. So let's get started. So I have already written the YAML uh, Docker Compose file, so I will just run through this so you can have a uh, you know, see on that. So as I said, you can check this YAML file from the GitHub location as well. So the basic requirement is like we are going to give a container name for the Elasticsearch, which is I given this name. You can give any name, but the only uh, thing is like you have to use this container name uh, when you are creating a con you know, environmental variable inside the Kibana. If you see this. Uh, we are mapping in Kibana like the elastic uh, search host is this one right so this is coming from the container name so if you are changing it you have to change it here as well and the image what we are going to use we are going to use the elastic search image and this is the version so if you have and you are doing if there is a new version available you can use that as well so a few environmental variable which we are setting so the security we are keeping it false so we don't need to set up a username password at this point and uh, now since uh, my docker and I'm going to run it a single node uh, elastic search container so if you have your resources and you know the system which you're running if you have enough resources to run multiple node you can uh, use that setting as well and uh, I'm going to set the network as EKI for network again you can give any name but uh, the both Kibana and elastic search should be on the same network so they can uh, interact each other now if you see for Kibana service what we are going to do is we are going to give a container uh, name for Kibana so that would be Kibana hyphen container so as I said you can give any name and the image for Kibana is elastic uh, dot, dot co Kibana and this version okay and as I said this the important parameter is the elastic search host which uh, should be this one okay the 9200 is the port number which we have opened uh, here as well and the network is the same network which we have given for uh, elastic search and you know the Kibana service is depending on the Elasticsearch service so that has to be very clear here and the port which for Kibana is 5601 and the network uh, we have to define the network which we have used uh, here EK hyphen network so it's a pretty simple I'm just going to copy it so there are some other uh, parameters which we can add like uh, we can add volumes so that you know the uh, YAML file for Kibana and Elasticsearch can be also attached uh, from the volume uh, this one we are going to use default one so I will show you that as well uh, once we create this container so how to write that as well so you can uh, have a view how to set up uh, customize uh, you know a configuration file and attach that as a volume and also you can save your data from Elasticsearch and Kibana to volume as well so let me create a file docker if and compose.yml and I'm going to paste this content what we just uh, copied and so you can see I have this uh, docker compose file here and I'm going to run docker compose up hyphen D so it should take this docker compose file and it should be creating the container so you can see it's creating the container for Elasticsearch and both the containers are created so in your case if the images are not available it may take some more time it will download the image to create so let me run the docker ps 
so you can see two containers are running so now what we need to do is we need to access kibana so you can access kibana using the uh, ip address of this machine and the port uh, 5601 so let me access that from the web browser so it may take some time so you can see the kibana server is not ready yet so it may take some time for the container to be configured so we may need to wait uh, for that to be up now we have uh, the kibana almost done yeah we have the kibana home page now so you can see uh, the kibana is loaded and if i go to the stack management index you can see there are no index so we don't have any index running so if i go to this machine and you can try curl uh, no, your elastic search so you can curl the elastic search using your host and the 9200 now you can see we got the output so here the cluster name it's taking the default cluster name you can change that as well with using some environment variable okay and uh, here we are using a single node uh, cluster so all those things you can change uh, in our docker compose file right now let's check uh, what are the index there in order to check the index you can uh, run the command uh, curl x get you uh, know then cat indexes so you can see there are a few index which are default for uh, kibana and all those things so we don't have any other index so let's try to you know bulk import something we have been working with some shakespeare's uh, json file right so i already downloaded that uh, in the machine so i'll just use that to import uh, in, as an index so i have that file over here so i'm just going to run this command uh, if you don't know about all these things i would ask you to refer uh, my other tutorials on how to bulk import the content how to run the queries and all those things we have shown you in my previous tutorial so let me run this so it can import uh, the Shakespeare's index so that should be the index right Shakespeare so and it's taking the content from the JSON file so let me wait for this to be completed okay so we have imported uh, the index for Shakespeare now let me go back to the Kibana and let me refresh for the index let's see what uh, we see here now we can see you know we are able to see the index uh, Shakespeare here as well right so these are some you know, details we can see about that and you can also write some query uh, to get some data from here so for that you can go back to your uh, home page and you can go to dev tools and you should be able to write some query so this is a default query which I have used so it, uh, it does not come by default in Elasticsearch, I have written this query for uh, uh, running the you know, details from the uh, Shakespeare which uh, contains this text entry. So if I run it, it will give you some output on that play name, speech, line number and all those things, right? So that's how, you know, I uh, just wanted to show you, uh, we have shown all these things in the previous tutorial as well. So but this time, you know, we have set up the elastic search and kibana using docker compose right so let me also show you like if you want to make more uh, customization uh, for example you can give a name for the cluster this time we have seen cluster name as docker cluster right you can change that to some other name uh, using this environmental variable you can also use volume so i am using some volume here to save the file from elastic search data to the locally um, your uh, docker machine and also you can also use your elasticsearch dot yaml file uh, set up on your local machine and you can attach that to the docker container so these things you you can customize it then from locally from your host so that you know you can uh, control that the same way you know for kibana as well if you have want to keep your yaml file uh, for kibana locally you can attach that as as well volumes so you can also add other volumes if you want and if you have to add other uh, configuration using environmental variable you can attach that as well so i will uh, add both these uh, yaml files into the github location so you can have a look there so that is all for this tutorial so i hope uh, it's an informative tutorial so i would request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet so thank you for watching